Hallelujah. The word is this morning is entitled The Power of the Word. Father, let us we thank you for your word, which is spirit and life, the word dynamic, the word active, the word is light to a path and lamp to our feet. Come, Holy Spirit, open up your word, teach us. Open the eyes of our spiritual understanding to see beyond the natural, to hear what you are saying to us. Thank you, Spirit of Living God. Speak, Lord, your servants here. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a descender of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The power of the word in a heart that believes is unmistakable, exceedingly abundantly able to propel, motivate, inspire to greater heights and deeper depths. The power of the word of God acts as a mirror and shows you the real you as God sees you. And as you embrace this picture, you are metamorphosed, transformed inside out to emanate and manifest the glory of God. And that is what God wants from us. To accept his word. To believe what he says about us. In the scriptures we are told of a man who had been crippled for 38 years. And Jesus came to him and asked him, Would you be made whole? In other words, do you want to be healed? And the man began to complain. How he had tried many times to get healed, but each time someone ran past him and dipped in the water and got healed. Jesus just spoke the word. Take up your bed and go. And immediately, that word was so powerful. The man was able to do what he couldn't do before. Because of the power in the word. Jesus said, the words as I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Jesus was unstoppable. He spoke faith-filled, energetic, operative words, sharper than any two-edged sword, and brought about healing and life to that man. That word was addressed to his spirit, and when it was received, healing was inevitable. The woman with the issue of blood had testimonies about the works and words of Jesus. Someone broke protocol and law and reached out to her, told her about Jesus. She believed the word and heard with all her heart. And it encouraged her to get up and go. She defied the Levitical law that prohibited her from having any contact with people. This is what faith in the word of God you have re heard does. You defy the natural law and obtain the supernatural. Notice that as she went out to where Jesus was, there was a throng of people, a crowd of people around him. Where she kept encouraging herself, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. If I can just best just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. This is the power of the spoken word. 
So after hearing the word that motivated you, get up and go and do not stop there. Speak as you keep on going. The throng around Jesus was to discourage her, but she kept on telling herself, If I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. If I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Yes, this scenario could play itself in your life as you take a step of faith. Yes, as you take a step of faith as a corresponding action in response to the word of God you have heard, you will be tried. You will be discouraged. Be wise to keep on going, to keep on pressing on, to keep on doing what she did. Keep encouraging yourself. The word of God tells us that David encouraged himself in the Lord. David came back from a night duty with his men, over 600, 600 of them. They came back and they found their camp burnt down to the ground, all their wives and children taken away. And the men who were with him were so devastated they began to weep. They cried until they had no more power to weep. And find the story in First Samuel chapter 30. And uh, after weeping so much, they saw David as the culprit. It's all your fault. These, um, these were men who, whom he had championed. Men who were in in debt, depressed, ostracized, David championed them, channeled them into a formidable fighting machine. But here, because of the calamity they faced, the devastation they faced, they thought David was the culprit. They wanted to stone him. It's all your fault. Our wives and children are gone because of you. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. He sought the face of God and God told him what to do. You too must seek the face of God in the face of calamity and God will tell you what to do. God told him, yes, pursue and you shall overtake and you shall recover all. David was wise. He had to encourage his men to come with him. To give me one more chance. You have seen what God, my God, had done in times past. He still remains the same. Come with me. Let's pursue. Overtake. And we will recover all. And in while attempting to pursue they saw a man an Egyptian who had been left behind by the raiding party and they asked the man who are you where are you from why are you here and the man told them how he had been left behind by his masters who had come to raid, the, raid their camp and taking their, ch their children and property away and this man led them to the offending party, the Melekites, who were gyrating, dancing, rejoicing at their loot. And David and his men fought with them from night to the following day. And they completely destroyed them, apart from a few that ran away. And they rescued their wives and all their belongings. Yes, they pursued, they overtook, and they recovered all. Because David encouraged himself in the Lord and sought the face of God, heard from God, and went with that word which he heard. 
And even when 200 men said they could not continue with the journey because it required crossing a river, David still continued with the rest of the men who were willing to go with him until the job was done, until victory came. You too must encourage yourself in the midst of discouragement. Yes, hearing from God is one thing. Holding on to that word is another. Because discouragement will come even when you have heard from God. Like we saw in the story of Paul who preached in Philippi. Discouragement will come. The enemy will come and say, Did God say? Did you really hear from God? How come these things are happening to you? And so you must, at such a time, be resolute, be adamant, be resolved, be immovable, knowing whom you have heard from. Stand your ground and keep encouraging yourself. Yes. Keep standing like David stood. Keep standing like the woman with the issue of blood stood. Keep standing until victory comes. This woman with the issue of blood had suffered badly, severely. She had lost all her money. She had gone to all the physicians, spent all she had saved. And yet, it, her matter grew worse. She had been licked dry. But she heard the word and she held on to the word and was prepared to go out, was prepared to defy the odds, to defy the law, you must also be ready to debunk every thought that wants to hold you down, that wants to imprison you for life. You must rise up, yes, and move. Rise up and press, press on, go on and on until clinch the victory you must keep going encouraging yourself in the Lord take your eyes off the hindrances the impediments the distractions fix your eyes on Jesus and keep pressing on like she did keep pressing on like David did keep pressing on like Paul did until you receive your answer. Reach out and touch him with a touch of faith. Notice that many people were touching him without receiving anything but she touched him with a touch of faith and she was made whole. She touched him with a spiritual touch and made a withdrawal of power. Jesus knew power had oozed out of him. And he said, who touched me? Yes. And his disciples were said to him, Master, everyone is touching you. How come you're saying, who touched me? But there was someone who had touched him with a touch of faith. And so, my friend, you too, when you've heard the word and held onto it, can touch God the touch of faith. Let your touch be the touch of faith. And in, in that story Jesus commended the woman. He said, woman, go. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith in the word of God will also make you whole in any area of your life. Be it in your relationships, in your finances, in your career, in your business, 
in your family, in your health, in any area of your life. Your faith in the word of God will make you whole. Act on the word you have heard. Get up and go. Do what it motivates you to do. Do it even when it seems ridiculous. Remember this woman who taught that just touching the hem of his garment will bring about healing. How ridiculous it was to think such a thought that just touching the hem of the garment of Jesus will bring about healing. However, she kept going, kept encouraging herself and did the ridiculous. And what happened? The miraculous ensued. So my friend, follow through encouraging yourself along the way, especially when you encounter encounter contrary wind, storm, opposition. Do not relent. Keep your focus on the, your goal, on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Also, I want you to see the joy ahead of you. Hallelujah. In Hebrews chapter 12, we're told, looking unto Jesus, who for the joy ahead of him endured the cross, and sat down at the Father's right hand. Hallelujah. You too will win. Hallelujah. And sit on the victor's seat when you keep looking on to Jesus. When you keep your focus on Jesus and press on. Yes, unrelenting, adamant, until you win. Yes, pray back to God. Pray that word back to God. Lord, you said in your word, the time to favor me has come, and this is the set time. I thank you that you are a God who does not fail. I thank you that you are a God who is faithful to the end. You said in your word, you stand by your word to perform it. I'm standing on your word. In the name of Jesus, you said in your word, yes, the grass may wither, but flowers may fade, but the word of God abides forever. Therefore, I stand to see your salvation. I stand to see my breakthrough in the name of Jesus. You too will have a testimony regarding, regardless of your test in Jesus' name. The power of the word is undisputable. The power of the word will work for you. Hold on to it because Jesus said, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Hold on to the word because it is written. The word of God is powerful. It is living. It is sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the divide, division of soul and spirit and joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hallelujah. Hold on to the word and it shall work for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Word that is true, the word that is spirit and life. Yeah, if you said it, it must be true. Therefore, I will bring your word back to you because you are always true. By two unchangeable things, your word and your oath, it is impossible for God to lie. Have you spoken and will you not do? Have you promised and will you not make it good? Would you bring to the time of birth and shut the womb? No. Heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will not pass away. It must be true. Must be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. If you said it, it must be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. No weapon fashioned against you. Shall never prosper. Every tongue rises against you in judgment. You shall show to be in the wrong. If 
you said it, it must be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. If you, you said it, it must be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. You knew no sin was made to be seen. With my be the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus, if you said it, it will be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. Lord, if you said it, it will be true. I believe, I believe, I believe you, Lord. Yeah. The cost shall light up the righteous. Christ has redeemed us. The curse. From the curse of the law. Yes, yes. from the curse of the law. He said it. If you said it, it, it would be true. I believe, I believe, I believe you know. If you said it, it would be true. I believe you know. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Be not afraid. Be not dismayed. I will be where I am with you. I'm with you. If you said it, it must be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. If you said it, it must be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. Where I burn of God. Overcome this world, and this is the victory that overcomes this world. Even your fate, if you said it, it must be true. I believe, I believe, I believe you, Lord. If you said it, it must be true. I believe, I believe. You shall decree a thing, and it shall be established. Behold, I give you power over the power of the enemy. If you said it, it will be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. If you said it, it will be true. I believe, I believe, I believe. Greater is he in you And he that is, he that is in this world I can do all things Through Christ who strengthens me If you said it, it did not be true I believe, I believe you, Lord If you said it, it must be true I believe, I believe, I believe you Beloved, I wish we may prosper and be in health, even if as your soul prospers. My word is spirit, spirit and life. If you said, said it, it must be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. If you said it, it must be true. I believe, I believe you, Lord. And Lord delights in the prosperity of the servant. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. But you meditate in it day and night. Not that to do all that is written therein. Then you make a way prosperous and have good success. If you said it, it must be true. Yes, I believe, I believe you, Lord. If you said it, it must be true. I believe. I believe. Ha. Does it wait upon the Lord? Can renew. Shall renew. Shall renew. Shall renew. Yes, yeah, strength. The mount up with wings, wings as, the as the eagles. Run and not grow weary. If you said it. If you said it, it must be true. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe you, Lord. 
Yes, if you said it, it would be true. I believe, I believe, you know. God works everything together. Go for the good, for the good of those who love Him. Those who have been called according to His purposes. If you said it, it will be true. Yes, if you said it, it will be true. I believe, I believe, you know. If you said it, it will be true. I believe, I believe. It will be true. I believe, I believe, you know. Yes, if you said it, it will be true. I believe, I believe, you know. Yes, my God shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus silver and gold belongs to the Lord he is my shepherd and I shall not want Amen. yes you shall decree a thing and it shall be established Amen. behold I give you power over the power of the enemy Jesus. yes as many as are led by the Spirit of God they are the children of God he orders the steps of the righteous ask and you receive seek and you will find knock and the door shall be opened this is my way for you Yes, if you said it, it will be true. I believe, believe, you know. If you said it, it will be true. I believe, I believe, you know. You said, yes, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Yes, that's your word. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, to the uttermost part of the earth. That's your word. It will be true. Let me do your word. Let me do your word. I believe you know. If you said it, it will be true. I believe you know. Lord, if you said it, it will be true. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your word, which is spirit and life. Heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will not pass away. The word of God is active, dynamic, sharper than it to your edge sword. I believe your word, Lord. It is true. Yes, your word is your will, and your will is your word. In Jesus' name. Shall not depart out of your mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein, there and night. And thou shalt meditate according to all this written therein. And then you will make your way prosperous. Then you will have the success. Out of your mouth. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. And you meditate day and night. Me observe and do all that's written therein. Then you will make your way prosperous. Then you will have your success. I say, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. Why not come to you? Be strong in the Lord. Lord. It is mighty. Ha uh ha. -huh. I'll be with you all the way through. Wherever the source of peace is, the Lord loves you. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. You let it here in day and night. Mm -hmm. And then you will make your way prosperous. Yes. And you will have your have success. Ah. I find the command. Heaven will never pass away. But my word will not pass away. The cast may wither. The father may fade. And my word abides forever. I say stand. Stand at my word. Yes. This is my glory. You'll have, have good success. Be strong in the Lord, mighty power. In His mighty power, I said, put on, put on the whole armor of God. Stand in the evil day. Head of salvation, cover your 
Yeah. Son of the Spirit. Mm. Son of the Spirit. Yeah. I say it's because of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, command it. Son of the Lord. It is my mighty power. Commanded you, strong in the Lord, strength in the Lord, mighty power, 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 cast down every imagination, and exhaust and give you all that you got. I'll be with you always, always. I'll never leave you, leave you nor forsake you. To the end of the day, the Lord shall not depart from my mouth, so look out of your mess. Yes, Lord lies in the prosperity of his servants. This book of law shall not be passed out of your mouth, but you meditate therein day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then you will make your way prosperous, and you will have good success. things are possible to those who believe. I have prayed a word and I won't see. The word of God is so sure, settled in heaven, it will accomplish that which pleases him. Prosper the thing whereon to it is sent. I believe and I will see I believe, and I will see, I believe, yes I believe, and I will receive, I believe, yes I believe, and so I speak, my confession will bring a money. All things are possible to those who believe. I have prayed a word and I will receive. The will of God is so sure, such a
man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and will he not do? Or has he spoken, and will he not make it good? By two unchangeable things, his word and his oaths, it is impossible for God to lie. I have not seen, ear has not heard, neither has he entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him. All things are possible.